in a little pub in London where Moriarty drank his beer and he talked about his exploits and his adventures of far and near. Sing an Irish song, said Kelly, best of order now, one and all. So Moriarty sang for them the hills of Donegal. Well, there was cheering at the finish and the crowd called encore, encore and Moriarty said, listen, lads, I'm not singing anymore. So he stood there still and silent and he gazed into his beer and in his eyes there flickered the dawning of a tear. Are you going home for Christmas? Then a kindly barmaid said. Well, Moriarty fixed his gaze on her and he slowly shook his head. Well, I haven't been to Ireland now for 20 years or more. My poor mother wouldn't know me if I walked up to the door. I was born, says Moriarty, on a little island in the west. It was the last place that God created, but the first place that he blessed. Now we were poor, but we were happy in our simple little way, and how I longed to be a boy again, and to have those youthful days. My father, God be good to him, he drowned one woeful night, and he left me sad and sorry, and for me to work and fight. So to Donald Rue and McCarty, and young Michal Ogoshe, I came over here to England to earn an honest pay. I told my mother I would soon be home again, but the curse of drink came o'er me, and now it's left me in its chains. Then someone started singing See Amidst the Winter Snow. It was like them bells so far away and so long ago. Well, Murray Arty, he stood and he listened, and then he pushed his glass away, and he made a solemn promise. I'm going home for Christmas Day. Well, he scraped up every penny he could get into his hand, and coming up to Christmas, he sailed for Ireland. Well, his heart was beating in his chest as he sat upon the train that brought him through the Midlands to his homeland in the West. In the village of Kilsheelan, he stood upon the shore, and out across the ocean, he saw his island home once more. The stars they were shining brightly, and it glistened like a dome on that little whitewashed cottage. That was Moriarty's home. It's a rough night for the sailing, said the boatman Thomas Bowen. Moriarty, he didn't know him. He'd been away for far too long. Then Moriarty stepped in to the barge inn, and the boatman heard him say. He said, thank God. Thank God in heaven. I'll be home for Christmas Day. In a little room in London, that was Moriarty's humble abode, in the corner, on a table, this message lay untold. It said, Dear Danny, your poor mother, she has passed away, and she be buried in Kilsheelan after Mass on Christmas Day. <laughs>